Today we delve into an intriguing topic, what a month without watching porn does to your body. To understand the impact, first, we need to comprehend what porn addiction is. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Unlike casual viewing, porn addiction is an obsessive behavior where pornography begins to take precedence over other aspects of life. It's a behavioral addiction that mirrors substance abuse disorders in the brain. Signs of porn addiction can vary, but there are common threads. These include obsessive thoughts about pornography, neglecting responsibilities to view porn, and even financial instability due to spending on pornographic material. It's crucial to understand that these signs don't necessarily indicate addiction in every case. But when they start interfering with your daily life, it's a cause for concern. Remember, watching porn isn't inherently bad or harmful. However, when it transforms into an addiction, it can have serious repercussions on your mental health, relationships, and overall quality of life. Now that we've established what porn addiction is, let's delve into its effects on the brain. Porn addiction causes changes in the brain similar to substance abuse disorders. Now this statement might sound pretty intense, but let's break it down to understand the science behind it. When we engage in activities that we enjoy, our brains release a chemical called dopamine. This neurotransmitter plays a significant role in how we feel pleasure. It's like a reward system for the brain, signaling a feel-good sensation. This happens when we eat our favorite food, listen to our favorite song, and yes, when we watch porn. However, the issue arises when there's an overload of dopamine. As is often the case with frequent and excessive porn consumption, the brain starts to adapt to these high levels of dopamine by producing less of it or reducing the number of receptors that can receive signals. This means you need to watch more and more porn to experience the same level of pleasure, a classic sign of addiction. This cycle can lead to significant changes in the neural pathways of the brain. Studies have shown that these changes can be similar to those seen in substance abuse disorders. In a way, the brain starts to associate the pleasure derived from watching porn with a need rather than a want, leading to a compulsive drive to watch porn despite any negative consequences. In addition, the easy accessibility and infinite variety of porn can create an unrealistic reward system where the brain is continually seeking more novelty, further driving the addiction cycle. So, while watching porn isn't inherently bad, it's the frequency and intensity, much like any other potential addiction, that can lead to problems. It's when this behavior starts to interfere with your daily life, relationships, and responsibilities that it becomes a cause for concern. So the question arises, what leads to this addiction? Several factors contribute to the development of porn addiction. Let's dive into the murky waters of these factors. First up is stress. When life gets overwhelming, some individuals turn to pornography as a form of relief. It's a quick and temporary escape from the turmoil of reality. Then there's loneliness. In the absence of human connection, pornography can provide a false sense of intimacy. It's a surrogate for genuine relationships, a distorted interpretation of companionship that can easily spiral into addiction. Depression also plays a significant role. When life seems bleak and devoid of joy, pornography can offer a fleeting high, a transient burst of dopamine that momentarily lifts the gloom. But as with any addiction, this temporary escape only deepens the hole of despair. Additionally, societal factors cannot be ignored. Living in a hypersexualized culture can feed an unhealthy fascination with pornography. It's easy to get drawn into the fantasy world it presents, where unrealistic expectations and distorted perceptions of sex and relationships flourish. Lastly, let's not forget about the accessibility and anonymity of the Internet. With just a few clicks, one can access a vast array of explicit content without anyone else knowing. This ease of access can fuel a habit that, over time, develops into addiction. Understanding the causes of porn addiction is the first step towards recovery, but how exactly can one quit? Overcoming porn addiction is possible with the right steps. It's not about suppression, but about substitution and seeking the right support. Firstly, a crucial step is to get rid of all porn material. This includes deleting saved files, bookmarks, 
and even certain apps that may serve as triggers. This is your first line of defense, and while it may seem simple, it can be a powerful step towards your recovery. Secondly, engage in new activities. When you quit porn, you may find yourself with a lot of free time on your hands. Fill this time with healthy, engaging activities that you enjoy. This could be anything from painting, hiking, cooking, or learning a new language. The key is to find activities that are fulfilling and can distract you from the urge to watch porn. Thirdly, identify and avoid your triggers. For some, stress, loneliness, or boredom might trigger the urge to watch porn. Recognizing these triggers and learning how to manage them effectively can greatly assist you on your journey to recovery. And finally, don't hesitate to seek professional help if needed. Therapists and counselors are equipped with the necessary tools and strategies to help you navigate this challenging journey. However, one of the most effective ways to quit porn addiction is to join a support group. Support groups provide a safe, non-judgmental space where you can share your experiences and learn from others who are going through the same journey. Having peer support and guidance can make the process of recovery less overwhelming and more manageable. Remember, quitting porn addiction isn't just about stopping a particular behavior. It's about reshaping your life, building healthier habits, and fostering better relationships with yourself and others. It's about reclaiming control and taking steps towards a healthier, happier you. While quitting is a significant step, what happens to your body after you quit? A month without porn can bring about significant changes in your body and mind. Just as a heavy fog lifts to reveal a breathtaking landscape, a month without porn can clear the haze that often clouds the mind of those struggling with addiction. Let's delve into some of the changes that can occur. First and foremost, there's a notable improvement in mental health. Studies show that excessive porn consumption can exacerbate anxiety and depression. But when you take a break, these symptoms can start to diminish. You might find yourself feeling less anxious, more confident, and generally happier. Next, we see an increase in productivity. Hours once spent trapped in the cycle of addiction are now free to be used more constructively. You might find yourself finishing that book you've been meaning to read, or maybe even picking up a new hobby. The sense of accomplishment you feel can further boost your self-esteem and overall mood. Then there's the impact on relationships. Porn addiction can create a significant disconnect between you and your loved ones, often leading to misunderstandings and strained relationships. But a month without porn can start to mend these bonds. With a clearer mind, you can engage more fully with your partner, friends, and family, deepening your connections and enriching your social life. Lastly, there's the physical aspect to consider. Some studies suggest that excessive porn consumption can lead to sexual dysfunctions. However, after a month without porn, these issues can begin to resolve themselves, leading to a healthier and more satisfying sex life. So, you see, a month without porn can lead to numerous positive changes. But remember, recovery is a journey. It's not about reaching a destination, but about making progress, step by step. It's about reclaiming control of your life and rediscovering the joy of living without the shadow of addiction. To sum up, while watching porn is not inherently bad, it can lead to behavioral addiction for some individuals. Over the course of this video, we've delved into the science behind porn addiction, its causes, and the profound effects it can have on one's life. It's important to remember that like any addiction, it doesn't develop overnight, and neither does recovery. We've also explored the incredible benefits of taking a one-month hiatus from porn. This break can lead to rewiring of the brain, similar to the recovery process from substance abuse disorders. It can help alleviate mental health issues, reduce risky sexual behavior, and improve overall quality of life. This period of abstinence can also help individuals regain financial stability and mend damaged relationships. In terms of recovery, we've discussed a variety of strategies from disposing of porn materials to engaging in new activities and avoiding triggers. And when the going gets tough, seeking professional help or joining an online support group like Men's Group can provide the guidance and peer support needed to navigate this journey. Remember, every step towards recovery is a step in the right direction. The journey may seem daunting at first, but the rewards of regaining control over your life 
are immeasurable. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Remember every step towards recovery counts. Keep doing the work on yourself as many times as you can, over and over again.